always tracking, always alerting. Storm Team 8. Welcome back on this President's Day. We expect to have some mild conditions moving forward through the work week here. Highs look to stick in the 40s and 50s, more typical of what we see in late March versus the middle of February. There is a chance of some showers developing on Thursday and some cooler conditions look to follow into the weekend. Temperatures will tumble into the 30s on Saturday afternoon. There's the view outside at the Gerald R. Ford International Airport where we have mostly sunny skies, just a thin veil of cloud cover in the upper levels right now. Our temperature stands at 33 degrees. The wind is from the east and that is sustained at just six miles per hour. Here's a look at Storm Track Live. It shows that we have some clouds crossing in from northwest to southeast, but again, they're pretty thin and the sunshine is able to dominate here through much of today. And it looks like we'll have a fair dose of sunshine also for Tuesday before clouds look to return later on in the work week. There's a look at our temperatures now. You can see that those extend between 30 and 40 degrees outside. So following up the coldest start to the month of February this morning, it looks like things have bounced back nicely. 32 in Greenville now, 37 in both Battle Creek and Kalamazoo, 38 current update in Holland and 40 degrees as you travel southwest to Benton Harbor. It's a few degrees warmer than the same time yesterday and through the month of February so far. A lot of red here on the calendar. We've had 16 days above average, just three through the weekend with temperatures below average. And even then they were fairly close to what is normal. So it's been on the warmer side of average through much of the month and it looks like that will continue going through this week. Looking at wind speeds now, they're from the southeast. They're directed through between five and 10 miles per hour. Focusing our attention on future casts, it looks like a warm front is going to continue to cross through today. We should expect to see highs in the upper 40s for tomorrow and then crossing into the 50s on both Wednesday and Thursday. There as we pause the clock at 1 p.m. Wednesday, you can see that we'll have the return of some cloud cover to the area and to the south we'll be tracking a warm front which looks to spark off some rain showers, especially on Thursday morning and as you move to the south, points along I-94 near Kalamazoo, Battle Creek. That's where we have the expectations of the greatest amounts of rainfall. South of I-96 is uh, where we'll pick up the most precipitation there before it looks like we'll scrub that away getting into Thursday afternoon. Rainfall future cast starting the clock at 9 p.m. on Wednesday. There you can see that some spots could pick up as much as a quarter to a half an inch of precipitation. Grand Rapids kind of on the cusp here of those greater totals with just a few hundredths of an inch. A tenth of an inch in Holland getting close to about a third of an inch in Kalamazoo. Again, we haven't seen a whole lot of precipitation through the month of February so far. If the month ended today, it would stand as the eighth driest on record with just above a half an inch of liquid precipitation. Mostly clear skies, calm and quiet tonight, a low temperature of 25, rising to a high of 47 tomorrow afternoon. A nice taste of spring with those mostly sunny skies. So a high of 40 here on President's Day. Staying warm until we get to Thursday. That's when we'll be tracking that small system which looks to generate some rain showers. Once that passes, we should expect some breezier conditions getting into the weekend. And yeah, it'll be a little bit colder, 32 the high temperature temperature on Saturday, but as has been the case through much of uh, the winter so far, it doesn't take too long for us to warm things back up. Yeah, it's been a little roller coaster, hasn't it, Scott? It sure has, yeah, yeah but mostly uh, on the incline. Yeah, all right, all right thank you.